Welcome to Westport Lanes in Westbrook, Maine for the final match in the October 2012 Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament. This is a one-string match between Jim Ayotte and Dean Sullivan, both of whom have worked their way through four rounds of match play to arrive at the finals. Uh, Jim Ayotte will begin on lane 11 and Dean Sullivan on lane 12. And Dean Sullivan starts off with a six drop. Light one two pocket hit and Jim Ayotte drops eight. Jim Ayotte is certainly no stranger to most of you who follow the Pro Series because he has figured prominently in a number of recent events. Uh, he's had an a excellent record. Dean Sullivan is probably a little bit less familiar, but he is a veteran bowler who is a regular on, uh, in a lot of the tournaments in New England. And he's really bowled well all day to arrive at the final match of this tournament. Jim Ayotte starts off with a spare, as you saw, picking up that 2-4, two 2-pinner. And Jim punches out the spread eagle on the spare, giving him a 6-pin lead, 14-8 to eight after one. And Dean Sullivan with a nice bid there on that 3-6-9, didn't quite go. And a great shot by Jim Ayotte. He converts the spread eagle. Let's take a look at this on replay. He cuts the 247 off the wall. And the two pin wipes out the right side. Dean Sullivan with a 10 in the second box. And these pin setters here at Westport lanes are uh, unusual. I haven't seen them before. Somebody with a, a longer memory than mine might be able to identify them. They, uh, they're a little different in that the rack comes down and drops the entire set of pins. So it kind of sounds almost like the machine has malfunctioned, but it hasn't. And there's a, that looks like a strike by Jim Ayotte, but it isn't. You can see uh, everything goes down, but the 8-pin is lurking there in the back in the shadows. So that is a 9-drop. Jim has 33 after 2. Dean Sullivan on the head pin once again, but didn't have much to shoot at. And there's a spare in the third by Jim Ayotte. He is out to a flying start with three spares in a row. He's got 43 plus a ball through through three. Dean Sullivan with 28. And you can you can hear that machine. It's a mechanics nightmare because he must think that the uh, that a machine has dropped the load right on the deck and he's gonna have to go down and fix it. But that's actually just uh, the way this machine works and, and they've been working pretty well all day. Jim Ayotte with a five drop, big five leave. Actually, Dean Sullivan also had a five. And Dean with a nice bid on that three, five, six, nine, ten, but he's not able to get the nine. And Jim Ayotte also will be open in the fourth. <laughs> Dean Sullivan with a ten box. He has 38 through four. Jim Ayotte with nine. He's got 57 through four, so he leads by 19. Dean Sullivan all over the head pin once again, but he again is not going to have much to look at. He's got a split. I think that's a six and seven. A couple pieces of wood in front of the six. Jim Ayotte with an 8 drop, he's got the 6 and 10. And Dean with a nice bid, but he doesn't get the 7 pin. Jim Ayotte covers that 6-10. He's really not giving Dean Sullivan any room to, uh, to maneuver at all. He's got 4 spares in the first 5 boxes. 
and as they switch lanes, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Jim Ayotte with 67 through 5, and Dean Sullivan with 48. And Jim also has a spare to fill in the uh, fifth. So he's leading by 19 plus the fill ball. Jim goes over to lane 12. And he is in the 1-3 pocket again. Drops 9, leaving the 5-pin. So that gives him a 29-pin lead. Dean Sullivan with a nice ball in the 1-2 pocket. He gets 9, and he's leaving. Uh, he's got the 10-pin. Jim Ayotte converts that 5-pin. Another spare. That's 5 spares in 6 boxes. And Dean gets on the board with a spare in the 6th. Clipping that 10-pin. It's going to take a lot more than that to uh, to catch Jim Hayot. Jim has 86 plus this fill ball. And Jim had 6. That gives him 92 through the 6th. And Dean adds 4. So he's got 62 and it's a 30 pin lead for Jim Hayot. And he cuts down that one, two, four, seven, four horsemen for yet another spare. Jim is just a spare-making machine in this final match. And that'll be a seven for Dean Sullivan. He's got 69 through the seventh. Jim Ayotte will fill that spare that he had in the seventh. He drops seven, leaving the two, four, seven. And Dean Sullivan continues to pound the head pin, but not get much to show for it. Goes through the middle. Another spare for Jim Ayotte. So Jim is just running away with this match. Dean Sullivan with a nice bid on that spread eagle. Got the left side and got a pin to come over and take out the six pin. That'll be an eight box. So it looks pretty much like Jim Ayotte is going to pick up the title in this Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament. Got an eight drop giving him 127 through the eight. 710, well, that's a little bit too much. Not quite able to uh, get anything going on that split, but it's not really going to matter. Jim will take a nine box in the ninth. He has 136 through the ninth. And Dean Sullivan with nine. So Dean will pick up a nice check for second place. Made a, made a good run in this event. I didn't note what the qualifying scores were, but as I mentioned, there are five rounds of match play, and Dean Sullivan got, he survived a couple of tough matches, uh, close matches over Chris Bovair and John Winchell in the, uh, the last two rounds. So he was Certainly uh, proved his mettle en route to the finals. The Dean will finish up with a 94 string, and Jim Ayotte will throw one more ball to fill out the, uh, the final score. And he's got a 155 game. And the congratulations go to Jim Ayotte from the crowd and the other bowlers. Jim is the winner of this Pro Series tournament in Westbrook, Maine. And we will take a look at the final score. You can see Jim with eight spares in, in the match. And a 155 game overall. And he runs away with this final. So we will see you next month after Worlds. The next event in the Pro Series is November 18th, a doubles knockout at Lucky Strike Lanes in Lynn, Massachusetts. We'll see you then.